Well, Joe Carr's Our Knives Live is now in the hands of a jury. The Marathon Bombers defense team delivered its closing arguments this afternoon. WMTW News 8's Paul Merrill joins us now live from Boston to tell us what we can expect next. Tracy, you can expect the federal courthouse down here in Boston to be the center of intense international attention every single day until this jury comes back with an answer. Remember, this is the penalty phase of this case. The question in front huh? of the 12 jurors is should Jahar Sarnayev spend the rest of his life in a prison cell or should he get the death sentence for his crimes? Prosecutor Steve Mellon focused on the four innocent lives that were ripped away. He told jurors, at any point along this long journey to commit acts of terrorism, the defendant could have reflected, reconsidered, and stood down. The fact that he marched resolutely toward his goal makes him more culpable and his crimes worse. When defense lawyer Judy Clark gave her closing argument, she argued that Jahar's family life and relationship with his brother are mitigating factors. She said, Jahar would never have done this but for Tamerlan. The tragedy would never have occurred if not for Tamerlan. None of it. The last word in this 10 week long trial came from the prosecution. Prosecutor Bill Weinreb rebutted the defense's argument by telling the jury, his brother did not make him do it, and in any event, it doesn't matter what his brother did. He's the one on trial, not his brother. You need to sentence him for his actions. Prosecutors also asked the jury to ask themselves why the defense brought in distant relatives from Russia and schoolmates of Jahar and did not call to the stand any of his siblings, in laws, close friends, or even his parents. Now, the jury did begin deliberating this afternoon. They deliberated for less than one hour. They will return here tomorrow morning to begin their deliberations in earnest. Live in Boston tonight, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.